What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. In today's profile, we're going to talk about T600. Y'all know that this rapper from the south side of Chicago, T600 affiliate. Um, he's kind of posting some of the Instagram I kind of want to have a talk about because I think it make a lot of sense. And a lot of people don't understand this, but I understand it. Uh, T600 said that he believed that Team 600 could have been bigger than the Migos, could have been bigger than G-Unit, and a lot of top artists and rap groups that was out. And uh, I know that might sound crazy because those groups that he named, these are like platinum selling groups. These are guys who have sold millions, if not two million and three million records to even compare some Chicago underground niggas to them would be disrespectful. That's what a lot of people believe, but I disagree with that. I think this guy's telling the truth. I think these guys could have been bigger than any one of them if they to trust the process, stayed together, and finally got that deal. Think about it. The whole Team 600 might have got recognized by Drake instead of just 600 Breezy. You see, a lot of things happen that kind of brought a lot of turmoil in a crew. You got to understand Everybody then ripped off what was going on in Chicago. I think the world would have really fell in love with the real authentic shit if it would have hit the major industry. Because no matter how big L.A. them was, no matter how big Team 600 was, none of those guys were really major rappers. But I believe they style, they flow, they cadence been stolen by all kind of rappers in the world. You got the Migos saying thought. You got Future saying ops. You got all kind of shit. These guys are influenced by what's going on in Chicago. Go look at videos of NBA young boy before he blew up chilling in a hotel listening to Team 600. They even said it was stars in L.A. Capone DM when he passed away. And think about this. When L.A. died, the whole crew broke down, which means that he was a strong presence. I believe these guys would have got a deal and would have been able to push their brand bigger. Think about it. Tay 600 got a big, huge, strong fan base. e -Day got a nice fan base. L.A. Capone had a nice fan base. We talking about C-Day, Breezy now. You know, I believe all these guys could have helped play a part in blowing their own self up. Fuck these um, promotional platforms and shit. These guys had enough clout to do it on their own. I just think the beefing kind of ended what went on, man. And it's sad because I think these guys, I mean, personally, I think all these guys should be rich because I think a lot of people stole what Team 600 did. These guys kind of like hit the forefront first. I'm not saying they was the first to do this shit, but I think Team 600 was like the first underground rap superstar group in Chicago to hit, you know what I'm saying, in a long time. So y'all leave me a comment. I want to know what y'all think about this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, A6.